Hey everyone, I hope you're all well, having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. So we are here, it is Monday. We finished up last week with a version of the Reindeer Core that we played last week. It was a lot of fun. If you missed out those episodes and you'd like to go back and check out how the progress of the team got on before coming into today's episode, I'll link a card up there. You can go check those out before coming into today's episode. But we have changed a few things up going into today's episode. And I'm going to just say right now so we're going to keep things the same for today and tomorrow obviously today because we've got the team in front of you right now but I would like to ask each and every one of you what your suggestions would be and what you'd like to see more going through the rest of the week so I'm going to hold off pre-recording anything post Wednesday so come Wednesday whatever we decide whatever we chat about in the comments going forward with this call what you'd like to see played I will feature that for the rest of this week before we move on to a new team next week and it'll probably be the team I play in Bristol Regionals which is this coming weekend which is going to be very exciting uh, I haven't played a live event in a long time so I'm really looking forward to competing and seeing how I get on. I've got a, a nice team kind of put together so it'll be nice to feature that next week on the channel and then we'll get back to featuring some more calls that you guys would like to see played as always because I want to just feature things that you guys want to see that are relevant in the format. Obviously we've got some big events coming up soon like US, Internet, things like that. Regionals happening everywhere and then obviously the run up to Worlds which is very exciting. So with that said the team that you can see on your screen right in front of you is down in the pace, uh, down in the pace, down in the description below. There's a pace, a roll pace. Check it out, try it out if you'd like. We've got the Kyogre. We've bulked it out a little bit in this one. So we ran really glass cannon Kyogre last week. We've got a bit of a bulkier one here to take a few more hits and perform a little bit better than maybe the glass cannon one. I'm still not decided which version I prefer. Uh, we've got the Tornadoes again. We've put the Sash back on it now because we don't need the Berry. We haven't got the Togo tomorrow. We've introduced Mega Swampert, one of my favorite Megas. So we've got the Rain there with Kyogre. Why not take advantage of it? And Swampert, I feel at the minute, can do a lot of good things. You know, there's not very many really threatening grass types in the format so he's going to have a really easy job uh, the rain obviously we get the boost it hits primal groudon for good damage even out of the rain so we've got that going for us it's got ice punch so we can hit all those dragons that are kicking around so it should be quite good we've got the xerneas obviously making up the reindeer core incineral there is brought back into the fold we've given it the z move and then we've tagged on ferrothorn it gives us a little bit of a better option when trick room goes up gives us a better option against xerneas in general and things like shininja that could be problematic we've got lee seed there to hit that and make sure that we can just eradicate that before it becomes too much of a problem so it's gonna be fun like I say the team is down in the description without further ado let's hop into it let's get some music on and as always guys if you enjoy this sort of content please make sure to leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and like I say leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are about the team going forward what you'd like to see in future and just anything in general how you've been because I love hearing from you all so we tried streaming last week. We had a little bit of a hiccup. I think I've sorted out now. So come Tuesday, hop on. I will be streaming. Everything should run smoothly. I've had an absolute nightmare with my OBS settings and things like that. So we've not had the best of time over on Twitch recently. So I will be making that up to you guys. So if you're around 7 p.m. UK time Tuesday night, do come by. I will be streaming. And then Thursday again, we'll do another one. So uh, our rating on the back of that has taken a bit of a tanking because of internet issues, things going on on stream and stuff like that, but we'll climb to the dizzy heights of uh, 1700, no doubtly. But we've got our first opponent of the episode, so let's hop straight into Team Preview. Right, our first opponent today is running a team of a Ground on Xerneas, Salamence, Tapu Fini, Incineroar, and Amoongus. And apologies, if you can hear a dog barking in the background, it is my neighbor's dog, and it is it does this sporadically. But getting back to the team, you've got a really standard Zerndon team here. You know, you've got the Salamence there with the Intimidate support alongside that Incineroar. Incineroar's got the Fake Out support to kind of disrupt help board positions. You've got the Tapu Fini to prevent any sort of status conditions, obviously. It does have a lot of support options as well. Icy Wind, Nature's Madness, Haze for setting up, things like that. And then the Amoongus there as well. So what we're looking at here, probably Tailwind is the only means of my opponent's speed control here. Tornadus is going to be pretty good, to be honest, because there's no psychic terrain to kind of get in our way, or so to speak. So I am going to bring Tornadus. Um, hmm. What will I bring beside Tornadus? Um, maybe. 
I mean, this isn't a bad one to lead. Swampert, Tornadus. Um, we probably want Ferrothorn, though, don't we? Because it's, it's pretty decent against the majority of things, especially if we've got weather control. Um, do we want Xerneas? Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go Kyogre. No, let's not go Kyogre. Let's go Swampert. Let's go Kyogre. And let's bring good old Ferrothorn as well. And let's click in and... My camera's not even on. I'm not even prepared today. Look at my hair. It's like the worst. <laughs> I'm having such a bad hair day today. But never mind. Um, I feel already like the team has got like that, that five the kind of mons that you want to bring. And you're really struggling to kind of fit everything in all at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm making sense. Anyway, we're going to see the Amoongus and the Incineroar come out for my opponent. We've got to worry about potentially a fake out Spore into our Tornadus, which would not be great for us at all. Hmm. Um, but to do leave the Swampert all alone just to do all sorts of shenanigans. Um, like one thing I could potentially do is just taunt the Amoongus and switch into Ferrothorn. We're not going to see... We're definitely not going to see the Incineroar go for a Fire-type attack into the Swampert here. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I think that the Tornadus gets faked out. But whether you leave the Swampert alone is another thing. Like the biggest, the worst play here for us is a fake out Spore into Tornadus, for sure. Okay, that's fine. That works out way better for us. We'll see a fake out into the Fair Thorn. Iron Barbs activate and we'll get this taunt. I mean, if it's Mental Herb as well. Ah, it's me <laughs> of course. You see it and it happens. But they spore into our Ferrothorn slot, which is th the best thing for us. Um, okay. Right, do we Tailwind? Do we Taunt? Um, well, I mean, we've got to Taunt. We can't allow this Amoongus just a free ride. I'm going to switch back into Swampert here. Because I feel like you probably sw you pivot out with Incineroar. Um, bring a guard on. Gonna see Xerneas hit the field now. Maybe we see a Flare Blitz. Maybe we do. But I mean, getting the taunt onto the Xerneas is pretty nice. It does mean that they cannot Geomancy, which is the big thing here for us. Because now the Amoongus isn't on the field as well. We could probably switch into. Wow, we are just seeing that. Okay. Could it easily just switch in Kyogre as well? But I mean, Amoongus was out, so it's probably not super likely that we're gonna be able to doing that. Um, what I'll do is switch in Kyogre and I will hmm if we switch in Kyogre it means that the Incineroar can pivot out um, and I can't really Earthquake but the Xerneas cannot protect either do I want to waterfall that slot? yeah let's just, let's just do it let's just waterfall waterfall the, uh, the Zern hmm the Groudon could come in here though I'm kind of a little bit afraid of the, the pivot out U-turn into the Groudon. But I mean, we will get our attack off before they can do anything. It's just whether or not they switch the Groudon in for the zone now. Which would be bad. <laughs> Real bad. But then, I mean, it's still not going to be the worst, is it? We're not, we're not completely out of this. So we get Kyogre in, we get the rain up. There we go. Is this the crowd on? No, it's the Amoongus. That's alright. That's alright. I mean, I'm, I don't mind this at all. And Waterfall does have a flinch chance. 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 Sound like Sean Connery. Um, okay, here we go. Waterfall. If we get the flinch, that would be incredible. Do nice damage as well. Moonblast coming out. Where are we going? Man, I always thought Swampert looked huge, but uh, Swampert looks so tiny. It really does. It looks so small. Uh, do we Earthquake and Ice Beam? Hmm. Hmm. Or do we just double Ice Beam the Amoongus? I feel like the Xerneas probably switches out here. This is why I want to Ice Beam and Ice Punch the Amoongus. I think the Xerneas switches out. I'm pretty sure it does. It doesn't want to stay in and get taken down. It cannot protect. Like, you switch it out. I think you keep the Amoongus in. There we go. Groudon, Groudon, Groudon. Okay, 
Now we should get the Amoongus with an Ice Beam Ice Punch. Once we get rid of that, things get a little bit easier for us. Because we've not got that Spore Threat anymore, which is nice. Okay, so Big Bad Groudon coming in. Spoiling the party with the sun. I mean, not really, because I love the sun. But for us right now, party's over. Okay, Ice Punch. Oh, I mean, easy. Easy double up. Bye bye, Amoonga. Right, this is fine. Now Xerneas probably comes in, which is where it gets a little bit tricky. Especially when you're relying on Ferrothorn to deal with it. But maybe you want to bring in Incineroar. Okay. I mean, I much prefer that. It gives us way more options to get around the Xerneas late game. Okie dokie, what are we gonna do? Uh, right, let us. Hmm. Hmm. Do we actually need to switch Kyogre? Because if we just do this, protect Kyogre, and then bring in Tornadus, we've got the role play the next turn, and we can just go role play. Just wash away. Wash away Groudon. It's all gonna be fine. Because Tornadus should get through this turn. You might see, like, you probably fake out uh, the Tornado slot, I'd say. Ah, huh? okay. Earth power. Okay. And this is fine. This is like this is all this is all good. Water spout. And then we go role play and into Kyogre. We steal that primordial sea. Get rid of the uh, I hope the Groudon stays in. Please stay in, please stay in, please stay in. Please stay in and like go eruption. <laughs> please, please do it for the channel. Okay, we're not gonna see any switches. So we'll get the 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 good old prankster uh, primordial sea. Right, thunderbolt. Yes, <laughs> I do love it. I do love. It. Still not going to be enough though. I don't think to take this. Maybe the incineral. Nah, 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 nah. It's done. It's done. I like the thunderbolt though. It's a nice. It's a nice tech. Right, what comes in there? Xerneas, which we can taunt, we can origin pulse. We got this all day long. All day long. I mean, we could probably just hurricane it, but I don't I don't really want to just give it the opportunity to uh, to come back in this game, even though we've got Ferrothorn in the back. I mean, we're going to be all right, aren't we? It's a taunt. You probably just Moonblast Dazzle here. Ah, uh, it does Geo. Okay. That makes sense. Like, you need to, at this point, you need to try and get it to come back into this game. Origin Pulse and picks up the win. So, very good game to my opponent. And a nice way for us to kick off on this beautiful Monday morning. Right. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find the next opponent. I actually really like the team. Uh, Mega Swampert's a lot of fun. Like, it was weird when I was looking for changes. You guys put a bunch of amazing suggestions last week now we talked about different trains and stuff like that um, and I do want to try some different tapus maybe in the team to kind of alleviate um, the psychic terrain problems that we had last week but I was just scrolling through options with the team and I, I came across <coughs> <coughs> sorry I came across Swampert and I was like oh wow yeah Mega Swampert it was something that I touted really early in the Ultra series I thought that could be like legitimately quite good. And I think as the format's kind of progressing, it seems like it could be getting a little bit better. Cortana's usage stats are getting a bit higher, so that would obviously conflict a little bit, but it does get superpower, which does alleviate that. And you could pair it up with, I don't know. Well, the, the Tornadus helps out a lot there, doesn't it, as well? But yeah, Swampert, I saw it, I put it in, and that, that was the reason why. Okay, let's get into team preview. I am yammering on far too much in this episode, but I hope you don't mind, guys. Right, we've got our next opponent. They're playing a team of Dusk Main Necrozma, which is probably Ultra Necrozma. You've got Salamence, Groudon again, uh, Tepu Fini, Incineroar, and good old Ferrothorn. Part of the club. Part of the club now. Um, okay, so we've got Tailwind definitely on the Salamence. Icy Wind support probably on the Tepu Fini. May have Trick Room support on that Duskman Necrozma. You can't discount it. It's definitely a possibility there with a maybe a Slow Ground on. Um, but again, right, what are we going to do? Like, Salamence is 
pretty good here. Um, sorry, Swampert is pretty good here. Salamence is good for my opponent. Um, we do need to be a bit careful around that Duskman Ultra Necrozma, for sure, if it does try and get set up, but um, and maybe we want to bring Intimidate this time around. Okay. Let's go. Um, hmm, hmm. What do we do? We got Tornadus and Xerneas. Try and get the setup if we can. Incineroar and Kyogre. Yeah, we need. And we're going to bench. We're going to bench. Bench Swampert here. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. Hmm. I just feel like Xerneas could do a job here, especially against the Salamence and stuff. If we can get even the Tailwind up, it, I mean, that deals with Salamence, even without Geomancing. We need Incineroar, <coughs> because Ferrothorn is here, and it will be definitely brought, I'd imagine. Okay, so we're seeing the Crossmap. Salamence come up for my opponent. I mean, we've got the option, if we would like to, to just bring in Incineroar protect Xerneas and then Geomancy the next turn. I don't really see too many ways for them to get around that. The problem would be if they Tailwind get growled on onto the field. Mm. So we could Tailwind, we could potentially. Um, we have to worry about the Sunseal Strike as well on the, um, the Necrozma. Uh, do we Tailwind, do we Taunt the Salamence? I mean, we could taunt the Salamence, for sure. And then Tailwind the next turn. And bring an Incineroar, just to be careful. And we also get an Intimidate off onto both these targets. We preserve Xerneas for later on. Um, but we need to be super careful with Incineroar, because, like I said at the start, if we do see my opponent with the Ferrothorn, we need to make sure that we are keeping Incineroar in good shape. So it is able to deal with it. Okay, so we'll actually bring in Incineroar at a perfect opportunity. I wouldn't imagine this Ferrothorn sticks around on the field for too long though. But we do taunt it, prevent it from leech seeding or protecting the next turn, which kind of forces it out to be honest. There's the Sun Steel Strike. Okay, and uh, it will be in two zone, I would imagine. So Incineroar will be able to take this pretty comfortably. Yeah, okay. Wow, is that a crit? Yeah. Poof. That's slightly annoying. Uh, that is really, that kind of puts us mm, close to Earth power range potentially. Okay, let's till wind and let's you turn out on the Ferrothorn. The Ferrothorn's got to switch here. It can't stay in. I mean, they could call my bluff and stay in, but I don't think they do. I think they switch. Bye bye, Fair Thorn. See you later. Salamence coming back in. Kind of want to see this Ultra Necrozma. Well, this Duskman Necrozma Ultra Burst, really. That would be ideal. Not going to see it just yet. I wonder if it trick rooms. <laughs> just Sunseal Strike again. This time, probably into that Tornadus. Um. Oh. Into the Incineroar again. Man, not not giving up in that slot. Just want to get rid of the cat, but we will U-turn out. Uh, phew, good turn, good, good, good opportunity, good time to bring in Kyogre, I think. Um, does the Groudon come in here? Probably. Do we just Ice Beam the Mens to prevent it? Yeah, and then we can roleplay the next turn, I guess. That's the thing. Um, yeah, Ice Beam the Ments. Um, hmm. I could just Hurricane the Necrozma. Just get some damage onto it, to be honest. I mean, it could Origin Pulse. Or water spout role play, but I just really want to get rid of this mint. I don't want to allow it to set up the the tailwind here. Okay, Ferrothorn going to come back in. So the the hurricane working out pretty nicely for us here. Mint's protecting. 
you know that Groudon's lurking in the back. So the Hurricane doing some nice damage. Maybe Hurricane Water Spout, well, I'll definitely get it the next turn. Um, Ice Beam into the, the Mints. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go Hurricane. Thing is, the Hurricane probably takes Ferrothorn down into Berry Range, which we don't want. Um, and the Mence is just protected, so. The Mence probably goes out to Groudon, like, genuinely goes out to Groudon, I would imagine. It's just the Ferrothorn, it's just annoying, because I kind of want to roleplay. Water spout. I just don't know if it gets the first one from here. Let's just do it. It's probably the wrong thing to do, but we're gonna do it anyway because I feel like the mens goes out. Groudon comes in. If we can get the Groudon, yeah. And the Ferrothorn, We've still got. We've still got Tornadus. And yeah, we got Xerneas still as well. We've got Incineroar for the, the Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma when it finally decides to burst. And you never know. You never know. The the water spout might be. It might not be a bulky ferrothorn. It's not going to be. It's going to survive the, the water spout. I imagine. But you never know. Might crit. Might crit. We probably take a power whip from it though. To be honest, like I'm being pretty serious here. We got such a bulky Kyogre. Um, we probably do take a power whip. Is it berry? Berry, berry. It is the berry. That magical berry. Okay, all that health back. Look at that. Oh, it's confused as well, of course. Of course. It does leech seed, though. Huh. Well, 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 well. We don't mind that too much, do we? Because we definitely know that another hurricane and water spot would get it. Okay, what comes in? Mints? On a crossbar. It's the Salamence. Okay. Um, definitely protect. Double protect here, I would imagine. Hmm. Oh, do you. I mean, uh, yeah, let's just go taunt into the Mence and. Do we bring in Incineroar? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think you risk. I think you protect with both because you want to stall out the Tailwind for sure. Um, and I don't think Ferrothorn wants to get doubled into. I mean, Ferrothorn could attack here for sure. There's a the Salamence protecting. And the Ferrothorn, no protect there. So it's going to Leech Seed a Tornadus, I imagine. Oh. It's confused. Do you hit yourself? It does hit itself in confusion this time around. Um. Okay. Does that tailwind pitter out? It does. Um. Hmm. No, we could. We can't. Hmm. We'll not outspeed the Salamence. That's the big thing. That is the big thing here. But we could. Because we haven't got Prankster anymore, that's the other thing. We haven't got Prankster. Well, one thing we could potentially do is... Switch in Xerneas. And go Flare Blitz. Because the rain will disappear when we switch Tornadus out. And the Ferrothorn maybe feels a little bit too secure right now. And if the Dustman comes in, we still get the Flare Blitz into that slot, which is nice. But getting rid of the Ferrothorn's a big thing here for us. Once we get rid of that, Xerneas has a way better time. No! Ferrothorn deceived us. Okay, we're <laughs> probably going to see a Tailwind. Yeah, Salamence. Or maybe a Double Edge. Mm. Like Incineroar, I'll take a Double Edge from this range. Minus one. Tailwind. Okay. I'm hoping... That we just flare blitz ourselves into berry range. That would be the the most perfect thing for us. Can we do it? No, we're just out of range. Oh, just out of range. Which we don't like. 
Hmm. But, yeah, I think we protect here for sure. We bring in Tornadus. For Incineroar. Whatever we do, we need to keep this Incineroar for that Ferrothorn. I mean, Ferrothorn, as long as we've got Tornadus or Incineroar, we're like not too bad, but I prefer Incineroar. But we might, there might come a point where we have to switch it in to get more Intimidate onto these these targets that are on the field right now. Because these are my opponent's like big powers, is pretty much double edge. Yep. Okay. Please don't double the Tornadus. No. Phew, phew. So we can match Tailwinds. Which is fine. Because that's all we want. That's all we want. Um. Necrozma is not ultra bursting. And I mean, it's kind of alright now. And I might be doing the one thing that we, we said we don't want to happen. Where we. Where we sack our Tornadus and our Incineroar. Um, but I kind of want to get the Intimidate down now, and I definitely want to get a Tailwind up. But there's no way for my opponent to control the weather now. So once we get Kyogre in, in the Tailwind, and their Tailwind Pit is out, once Xerneas is in, it should, it should be alright. We should be alright. And it's finally done it. Excellent, excellent. This is what we like. We want to get you weak to Xerneas. So there's a Tailwind. It's a pretty easy double knockout for my opponent here, to be honest. Double edge. Yep. Yep. That's an across goes like Earth Power. <laughs> oh, you went Earth Power. <laughs> wrong move. Definitely wrong move. Okay. Now. Let's bring in Xerneas. We have to worry about the Z move, for sure. But, yeah, we have to, I think we protect Xerneas here. I think it's, it's pretty obvious that my opponent probably brings in Ferrothorn. But their Tailwind Pillars out the next turn. So you could potentially Hmm. Do we get do we get Kyogre in right now? Ugh. Or do we just geo Mancy? Do we just geo? Nah, I don't think we geo. I really don't think we do. Let's get Kyogre in. This is gonna be really close still. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what happens. I just don't want to take a Z move. And a double edge on the Xerneas slot, even though I feel like my opponent probably switches out maybe to Ferrothorn. Because if they don't switch here, then I think the game's over, because then you have to switch Ferrothorn into a Dazzle Water Spout the next turn. Which it doesn't look like they're going to actually switch at all. Hyper Voice. And Z move, I think. So, we'll have to take an intermittent break, Whoa, because the Z-Move is obviously copywritten, and the video will not be able to go up, so we will be right back, friends, when we see which target this goes into. And it is into the Xerneas, as we suspected, but because we've protected there, makes things a little bit easier for us. Now, like I say, well, the thing is now gone all in on that turn, their Tailwind Pit is out. Salamence is not in the best of positions, and um, yeah, I mean a water spout Dazzling Gleam is going to be more than enough to take down both of these targets. We probably see some protecting, some shuffling around, shenanigans, but I mean from this point on We should be fine Should be hopefully Let's see Let's see what my opponent does Just thinking about it. I do expect the Ferrothorn to come in here, but I mean, and it's decent health, but oh, we're not actually going to see that, we're just going to be able to remove everything from the field. Okay, hmm, still not going to be easy to kind of close down. I think the one thing we need to do is make sure that we have our rain up on the field. 
Um, and the Ferrothorn's a decent health. It's it's berries gone. Um, but hmm. Do we just sack something? Do we just go Moonblast? Moonblast. Moonblast and Ice Beam. Ah, uh, Moonblast Origin Pulse. Hmm. Let's go Super Water Spout. It's single target. I know we've taken a bit of damage, but it's more reliable than the Origin Pulse. And you can only take one thing down here. We're not geared, so this is not going to be doing... Uh, I mean... Uh, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, Hurricane's going to deal with it. Oh, I mean, that's pretty good. It's definitely going down next turn. Goes after the Kyogre. Does take us down. But Moonblast will be enough to pick up the knockout the next turn. And uh, we do have a good old Tornado still sitting in the back. On low health. But we can taunt, we can Moonblast. Just to stop any Leech Seed shenanigans. Uh, we'll just Moonblast again. And we will go for the taunt. I mean, we could Hurricane, but we're not in rain. It is. Uh, I, I don't think it matters now. I don't think it matters at all. But it's nice just being able to stop the Leech Seed. Which could be the one thing that gets the health back that they need come back into this game but the moon blast will be enough and we do pick up a win so very good game to my opponent and that wraps up today's episode two really nice games with the team to kick us off we have featured the the mega swan put in game one which was nice so getting to see a little bit of that we didn't bring a game two but we kind of showed a little bit more of the other side of the team which i think is nice and both games really utilizing that role play which is still kind of really surprising because there's there's a part of me that thinks I really want Protect on Tornadus, but the role play, especially in a best of one, I think more best of one than best of three, the role play is just incredibly strong. I think in a best of three, if you're not playing Serena, you can get caught out quite easily by fake out support, which is everywhere on every team. Uh, so that's something to think about, I think. But like I said at the start of the episode, guys, the team is down in the description below. Go ahead, try it out. And let me know what you think about it. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And we'll be back with more reindeer action tomorrow. So do not miss out. And I look forward to reading all your comments very soon. So in the I can't even speak but take care of yourselves have a great day and I'll see you all for the next one take care guys bye bye